Dan Radio style. Hope everybody out there is doing fantastic as always. Love it, baby. Bam. Uh, so, yeah, of course, a lot of interesting things have happened recently for those of you that have been kind of following. You know, and it was actually that show I was talking about, uh, by the way, in the, uh, my most recent one where I was uh, the woes, that specific someone woes. That actually was. And then I think I was talking about something that happened a week prior. But whatever. That all being said, um, kind of more follow up on this. I mean, obviously, things are cooler they're greater they're happening it's fantastic it was a really neat confirmation and um it's been telling of some other aspects so another handbrake issue that i I thought i wanted to kind of bring to people's attention because i know a lot of us out there are kind of looking for things that maybe we're doing that are kind of you know slowing herself down putting the brakes on a little bit so i hope to talk a little about that hopefully a short show this will be and that's always uh, tricky when i try to pull that off uh, we Are Young, and that was fun, was the name of that uh, tune. We Are Young, and it's by the band Fun. They're always a good time, let me tell you. Uh, we're calling this Listen to Others, specific someone, Handbrake. And what I kind of found is um, there truly has pretty much become no one that I feel comfortable talking to about the specifics of what I'm trying to currently manifest. And I actually mean that in probably in, well, in all of my major manifestations that I'm currently working on. Um hinting at here and there totally cool but actually just sitting down and getting into the nuts and bolts of it uh there's very few people that i would there's a few there's a few people but uh very few people would i start to even talk to about them because a lot of interesting things start to happen even if they're supportive so let's just assume on the on the uh, on the outset that we're dealing with the people that are actually supportive right so even the people that are truly wanting to help and you're talking to them because you're telling them about this new thing you're doing and it's manifesting and it's really cool and you did you got a parking place and you got a free cup of coffee and you got I don't know whatever else you got right all this stuff's working I man I met so and so because of it I know it and um other people's beliefs when discussed with your beliefs have to commingle like for those to exist at the same time like you start melding worlds uh when in reality you're trying to create your world. That's why you're doing the imaginal work. You're trying to create that which you don't currently have. So if you've got some other friend that's doing what you'd like to pull off, well, yeah, yeah, talk to them without a doubt. They're going to give you the ins and outs of how you get to that place. But if it's someone that's not doing what you're doing, uh, it will tend to complicate things a little bit. Uh, Another thing I found sometimes is people will have very strong opinions about what you're doing. Say there's something about it that's questionable in the eyes of some, maybe morals come into play. Maybe it's something that could break up a family. Maybe it's something that whatever, I don't know, like uh, it could cost someone a job or they'd have to quit. Any number of things. Like if it requires, um, if it's just sort of black and white, I don't know. I'm being really uh, generic about this, obviously. But a lot of times I've found that people just don't ask questions. They instantly assume, well, since it's A or B, or since these couple things are happening, uh, then you're, you know, you're wasting your time. You're, you're, you're going down the wrong track. You don't love yourself enough. You don't, I, I kind of feel like it's important to ask questions. It's important to put it in perspective. Uh, even sometimes with some of the emails I get, I, I'll even try to shoot back a, a question. Like, are you coming at it from this way? If so, you know, um, then here's kind of what I'm thinking. But I, I think context matters a lot when you're trying to manifest something just because something may still need to, it might be one of the little dots in between, right? From here to there, like you're looking to manifest something that maybe is a little ways down the road because a few things need to happen, but that's where you're holding the vision. That's the direction you're sailing your ship and that's where you're going to go. So there might be a few interesting things that happen to happen along the way. And some people might deem these things as bad. You might not, you might be okay with it, whatever the case is. We're all wired a little differently. But if they don't ask questions, it's it really makes it hard to put it in context. Or if they have some sort of, like in this case even too, ulterior motives, like some sort of agenda, some sort of their own little filter that they're trying to f- filter what you're doing through. Again, even if they care, they're still filtering it through their own uh, their own way, their own motives, their own history. Their, like everything that makes them who they are is what their filter is. It's the case for all of us. All of us have our own filters. It's why when you have people do channeling for you and stuff, eh, you know, depending on how purified they've gotten themselves. I mean, I've met some amazing people and, and I've known a lot of people that are gifted and there's a big difference to me. And so it just kind of depends to what level people have gotten themselves. But channeling is much the same. You've still got filters oftentimes in people that you need to get through. So what was really important to me in my situation, there's twofold, really. One, uh, 
what happened, how this whole thing kind of took off from an energetics standpoint to me. There is a feeling, there is an energy that, to this. This, I know, is a part of the process for me. It's possibly why it's taken long. I hope no one goes through what I'm going through. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. But again, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Um, I have learned so much through this process. It's It's been life-changing for sure in a huge way. Uh, and on top of that, it has been a huge part of my spiritual and psychic-ish type things abilities. Uh, it proof. It's like a really important phase of that. And that's not something you can just talk about to a lot of people because most people don't care about that. They're not focusing on that in their life. And I unfortunately am. That's part of my world. That's part of my path. And so this is a huge part of that as well. This Without the feeling, this never would have happened. Without that in, intense, uh, off-the-charts, f- like hugely fold, <laughs> off-the-charts feeling, I would not have go d- gone down this path um, to the extent I have for sure. So uh, we've got a lot of history. There's a lot that's gone on. There's been a lot of things that most people don't realize when you have conversations. I'm just sharing my little piece because I've gotten a lot of interesting comments uh, not just from these videos, but in real life, um, in other platforms that I, I have. Um, it's just been interesting how things play out. And I have no ill feelings towards anybody or anything uh, demonstrating these. It's just aspects of myself that I needed to understand. But it, uh, it has been beautiful, and I've learned a lot. And it made me think about all the handbrake things. Uh, I've done videos about, you know, talking about knocking you sideways. I really think it's important because I think so many of us kind of accidentally go down that path where we sort of start to tell people stuff because we're so excited, especially when we start to see increments towards it. And it's very important to kind of make sure you still keep the rest of the details to yourself. I probably shouldn't have posted what I did, frankly, but it was kind of, um, again, I think it's interesting that people get to experience some of my real life struggles and and uh, steps and stages too. And uh, though I can't necessarily always get into the total specifics and granularity of it because there's people's lives are involved and uh, their anonymity for sure until it becomes something that's more accepted, right? So um, all that being said, I mean, I, I can only share what I can share, but uh, you should be very careful about what you talk about and uh, just just understand you're doing the work to create it. You know why you're doing the work. And the examples of you having what you seek is stronger than the words always. And I say that even about myself. So obviously on yes is doing much better. She's there, right? She's done it. She's, I mean, I've done a lot of stuff. This, uh, the specific someone one though. Nope. I'm like, I think in the final phases, I'm a good, like, Hey, you want to know what it feels like here? I, I can talk about that all day long. <laughs> uh, so anyway, doing our best. And, uh, I think it's, I'm thinking, anyway, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll make the announcement when the announcement's uh, appropriate. That's for sure. Uh, we're going to be going out with a Coldplay song. I actually didn't realize this was actually Coldplay. Uh, I mean, I was, the title's why I, uh, did it and it's called a whisper. And then I listened to it. And I'm like, Oh, no way. I actually know that song. That's amazing. Cause I don't listen to a whole lot of Coldplay, but man, 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 whatever it is. So it's Dan radio style. I hope you enjoyed what we talked about. Like I said, I kept it short. I'm proud of myself. Uh, and if you'd like to contact me, feel free to do so, and please do so, at danradiostyle at gmail.com. Going out with Coldplay, thank you so much, and we'll be doing another video soon. Thank you.